Hey guys, welcome to No Code Engineer and in this lesson we'll learn about custom states. Custom states are a really important feature in Bubble. It's actually a very simple feature but it could help you build really cool and complex apps in Bubble. So what are custom states? Custom states allow you to create variables and it helps you to store those variables in any element you want. Before you understand custom states, you need to know what a variable is. A variable is anything that can hold different values. For example, I could say that x is 3 and y is 4, so what is x plus y? You know that the answer is 7 because x was 3 and y was 4. Here x and y are variables which could hold values of different numbers. Another example could be like a command which says when x is green you start running, when x is red you stop. So whenever you hear that uh, x is green, you start to run, and whenever you hear that x is red, you stop. Here x is a variable which could hold different kinds of text values. Here the, those values were green and red. So that's it, that's the variable. And custom says allow you to create exactly those kinds of variables, and then it can help you to store those variables in any element you want. Let me give you an example to make it more clear what a custom state is. I'm going to drag a shape here and I'm going to copy it, paste it again and let's give it a different color. This could be a yellow shape, this could be a red shape. And then I'm going to have two buttons here. Button 1, I'm going to copy it, paste it here and button 2. And then let's have a text box here with a border maybe let's go to styles give it a border on this five color light and one more text box all right for this text box we'll name it let's say x and we'll say i can hold values and for this text box, we'll, okay, let's not name it anything. Let's just say the value inside x is. We'll come back to that later, but let me explain you what I'm gonna do here. This button will be click me for yellow. And this button would be click me for red. So basically what's going to happen is when you click here, this is going to show up. When you click here, this is going to show up. But we're going to do that with the help of custom states. So when I click on this button, I go to start edit workflow. And now I'm going to create a custom state. I'll go to elements actions here, set state. This will trigger this custom state function. I'm going to select an element, your X. And then I'm going to create a custom state create a new custom state. I'm going to give a name to this custom state. Create a new state. This basically means create a new variable. So what is the name of my variable? I can give it any name I want. I'll, I'll name it variable1. And the type would be text. I'll go create. And a value. I have to give variable1 a value. I'll name it, uh, I'll give it a value because it's button yellow clicked. I can name it yellow why not and then I'll do the same with click me for red I'll go to start edit workflow elements action set state I'm gonna choose an element X custom state variable one I'm gonna give it a value let's say red what I did here basically was I created a custom state, I created a variable, and I gave it a value red. So this is my variable, this is my value red. And I am storing these two things inside of the element x. What is x actually? x is just a text box, this is huge text box, it is x. So I'm creating my variable with a value red, and I'm storing inside x. And I'm doing the same thing here. I'm creating my variable 1, and I'm giving, a value, and I'm giving it a value yellow. And I'm storing it inside of X. X is nothing but the text box. That's all I'm doing. And now I'm gonna go to the conditionals of this shape 
I'm gonna tell when x variable one is yellow this element is visible and I'm gonna copy this expression paste it here I'm gonna say when x is variable one is not yellow do not show this shape and I'm gonna uncheck this box I'm gonna do the same with this shape when x variable one is red show this element and I'm gonna copy this expression paste it here I'm gonna say when variable one is not red do not show this shape that's all and here just so that we can see what's going on inside this text box I'm gonna say the value all right so the variable inside text box x is what variable one and its value is what is its value we don't know because it will depend on which button we click so we can see that when we go to x and choose variable one so every time the variable inside the variable one inside this text box changes we're gonna see it here so right now let's go to preview and test it all right so right now no, none of the shapes are visible I'll click on click for me click me for yellow nice the yellow the yellow shape is visible and here you can see the variable inside text box X is variable one and its value is yellow because inside the value changed to yellow once we click the button here and then let's click me for red nice the shape red shows and you can see here the variable inside text box X this is text box X is variable one and its value is red because once we clicked here the value inside of it changed and that's why we see this red shape here and that's what a custom state is guys it's, it's really a simple tool to create variables and store variables in different elements and you can do a lot many things with it uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll be back with more videos and more lessons stay tuned take care bye bye see you soon